Hi everyone, it's actually a Thursday today, I don't start work till half five, so I'm going to pop into town, I need to go into Primark to return some swimmer costumes I bought, I bought like five in one go and then I just kept one, so I need to return the ones that don't fit, but I'm finally going to go into the range and Poundland today and try and get some boxes so that I can finish the bedside tables and my dressing table, because it's still a mess. I need to get an extension lead long enough to like run around the outside of the bedroom so that I can plug my hair straighteners and my um, number seven mirror in without having to trail a extension lead like along the floor from that plug. So by the way, that's um, a dog treat. It looks like a poo <laughs> on the floor. It's a buffalo horn or something, buffalo foot. Um, Bella's just on the bed. Oh, I thought she was asleep her eyes are open. Um, I've just got a mountain of washing, I need to go downstairs and put that on before I leave and it's so sunny now, we're having like the hottest day of the year, I think it was yesterday, it was about 27 degrees, 26, 27 degrees, just so hot, um, hence why I needed the swimming costumes because we went to Connor's auntie's swimming pool in her garden, so I'm going to return the ones I don't need, hopefully try and get some boxes to fit in the drawers. Um, and then I can come back and organise what we're going to put in our bedside tables. Hi everyone, I'm back from the shops. I ended up going into Primark to return those swimming costumes I didn't wear. And then I went into Poundland. So I just quickly thought I would show you what I bought before I go upstairs and get started. So first thing from Poundland, sorry not Pound World, was this soap dispenser. Of course it was a pound. It's got a bit of a mark on it on that one side. But it was the only one left, and I'm just going to make sure that it's always facing this way. And I think it's for a bathroom, but I'm just going to put it downstairs at the kitchen sink. And then at the till, I picked up some Aero Peppermint chocolate bars. I can take these to work with me. I also got another little statue from the Hidden Garden range that Pound World do. I know it's a bit childish, but like the inner child in me just thinks that it, this is the cutest little thing. I'll show you a quick garden um, flower bed update in a second, but I hadn't seen a telephone box before, so I thought I would get that to add to my little collection, and that was a pound. We actually need a new ketchup squeezy bottle because it fell out the fridge and cracked, and obviously it's quite handy to have the other ones as well when we're having barbecues and stuff. I picked up another toilet um, brush this was £1.50 from Pound World, no, nope, not Pound World, Pound Land. I bought one from Next that I showed like maybe five, six vlogs ago. And then I found this one, which is plastic, because I always find that the stainless steel ones go rusty. And I asked Connor which one he thought was more expensive, this one or the next one. And he actually thought this one was more expensive looking, so I got another one for downstairs. Um, I picked up some milk, we needed some more milk so I got some of that and then what I actually went into town to try and get were these little um, boxes, they were a twin pack and they were £1.50 each, I got two grey, two white and four black ones so I'm going to use probably six for me and then two for Connor because I'm not too sure what he wants to put in his bedside um, drawers he can just put whatever he wants in there and then from Primark I obviously did the refund but I also exchanged and got some coat hangers Connor ran out of black ones I find whenever I do his washing I always get to the end of the pile and still have about four or five items that need to be hung up but we've ran out of the um, velvet hangers and obviously he has the black ones and I have the pink ones. So I just got a 10 pack for £2.80 just with a little silver um, hook. I also picked up some reusable ice cubes from Primark. I've lost our ice cube tray somewhere and it was um, cracked anyway. So I just thought I would get these and these were £1.50. You just put them in the freezer and they've got like a water or something in them. So you can reuse them and they don't water your drink down. And I think that was everything. Oh. And then I also picked up some Nivea Post Shave Balm from Boots. This was like £2 on offer. This is really, really good um, for men and women. After you've shaved, it like takes away any like razor burn or like razor rash. So that's everything I've got. I'm just going to show you the garden quickly, the flower beds. And then I'm going to pop the milk away, go upstairs and start doing the drawers. It's about 3 o'clock. 
so I've got two, uh, two and a half hours until I start work. So guys, this is what the flower bed is looking like. I think I've not shown this now for maybe, ooh, how long, maybe like a month maybe? Because before, none of this greenery had sprouted yet. So this was a plant that I planted, that was a plant. One, two over there, another one in the corner, one there. But all of these ones are from the wildflower um, butterfly and bee mix. Obviously I planted the one in the middle, the carnation pot, which is doing really well. And then over here, I have my little fairy garden house, which I love. And then I have a little pink toadstool, a little fairies and gnomes sign, a little fairy door, and then this, which we found in the bottom of the pond. And now I can add my little telephone box to it. I'm just gonna put it in the corner, maybe where there's no plants growing. Thank you. <laughs> I'm such a child, but I absolutely love it. These little um, windmill things were from a garden centre local to us. And then these windmills I got from Poundland, but they've actually faded in the sun. They were like bright yellow. Oh, sorry, not bright yellow, bright purple when I got them, but they faded. And I have my um, bird feeder in the middle, which I spray painted. Love it. Obviously, we need to still um, clear like the outside of the garden, but it's slowly getting there. I have another pot of carnations here which have so many new buds ready to bud. This one over here is doing really well. This one was from Morrison's and it still has the little tag if you're interested which flower it is. We finally cleared a lot of the algae and we have little fountains installed. So you can see the fish really clearly now. We still need to um, clear the water a little bit because it's still quite murky but we're really happy with how it looks. I don't know if you remember the first vlog when I showed the pond, we had a big massive ivy plant um, in a pot that was like completely taken over the pond. But look, you can just see the little fishies swimming around. So much happier. Oh, it's another hot day. I'm literally like sweating. I've just changed into some shorts because it was too hot being in my jeans. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all of the, um, boxes that I'm going to use to put in the bedside um, drawers. I think I want to keep my underwear and socks in the like dressing room where they um, currently are and just put like underwear in one big basket and then socks in another big basket rather than putting them in my bedside um, table because before when we lived in the old house obviously we had our wardrobes in our bedroom so if I want to get changed it means I'll have to come into the bedroom to get my underwear and then I'll have to go into the wardrobe room to get other clothes. So I'm thinking just to keep my um, bedside table um, with like skincare and stuff that I need kind of like every day and maybe I could put some like worky bits in there, have like a drawer for notepads and stuff like that. So this is the box I packed up from our old house of all the contents of my bedside drawers. I actually already have um, three boxes. I think these ones are the actual curver boxes obviously these are like the fake version kind of from um poundland or pound world whatever it's called but these ones i think these are the actual curver baskets i think i can't actually remember where i got these from but i'm gonna try and divide things into um categories so this one at the moment seems to be kind of med medicine skincare and a random pen so i want to have like one for stationery um a few for skincare one for like medical um creams and eye drops and stuff so i'm just gonna sort through this box and see what's in here and then try and put everything into categories
So I'm just going to start to um, fill the top drawer with some of my little baskets. This one is a skincare slash beauty basket. I've got some like pore strips. This is a little sachet of some nourishing body cream. And also this is really good from Palmer's. It's the Cocoa Butter Formula Heal Repair. It's I love um, anything to do with feet, but I hate putting on lotion because then you have to wash your hands, but then you can't get up because your feet are obviously got stuff on them. But this comes in like a little like twisty, pushy uppy like deodorant kind of mechanismy thing. Really, really good. I got this from Sally's a few years ago. This one is like a little medicine-y basket, obviously we have a medicine cabinet downstairs but this has got some migraine strips in it, some Rennie, Rennie sorry in case I get heartburn, Optrex, this is for itchy eyes when I have um, hay fever. This basket has just got some skincare, I'm going to find some more things to put in it but this is a night cream, this one was from actually Audi, I think it's like a L'Oreal dupe. And then I have the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturiser. And this is from the brand um, Tony Moly. I think I actually got this from Amazon. But they do it on like ASOS. And it smells really, really nice. Obviously it's like banana scented. It smells like those banana foam sweets. And this is another skincare beauty basket. I have some of the Ordinary. I think it's Niacinamide, you pronounce it. It's um, the 10% with the 1% zinc really good for like spots and acne I think, I think that's why I bought it. Um, deep sleep pillow spray, this is from This Works, it really does work. Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream, this is like Vaseline in a tube, it's really 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 greasy and um, thick. And then this is a little roller ball um, for like sleep and it's from the brand Tisserand. So that's the top drawer. I might not leave it like this because obviously the um, baskets are quite shallow so there's still a lot of um, space that I could use in there. I might get like another layer on top or something but I'm not too sure just yet. And then in the second drawer I just currently have um, pens, gel pens and then this is kind of like a random um, box. So I have some tea lights for my wax melts upstairs. Um, I have some random batteries, an apple plug, some matches. I look so red, it's literally like a sauna in this room. I'm going to be really annoying and end the video here, but I promise I will upload part two at the same time I upload part one. So if you go straight to the, um, straight to the, um, what do you call it, the description, the top line of the description or the second line of the description will be part two to the video where I finish my dressing table and then my bedside tables and my dressing table will be completely done. I'm just going to carry on filming um, the part two now and then edit into two separate vlogs otherwise it really is going to be like 45 minutes long. So please head over and watch part two. I'm literally about to finish it right now. I'm just going to kind of arrange everything and put some more baskets in the drawer. Um, if you enjoyed it, then give the video a thumbs up and please check out part two. Bye!